blessings everyone glory be to the lamb of god hallelujah and our topic for tonight is the five crowns in heaven dear merciful father we come to you in the mighty name of jesus christ be with us on this live our father in the mighty name of jesus let teaching learning be easy in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In many churches, those members who studied Bible prophecies are relegated to the lunatic frings politely and sometimes not so politely dismiss out of hand for wasting their time trying to divine the future glory be to the lamb of god not so christian that study prophecies are not trying to divine the future they are hearing the crown of righteousness glory be to the lamb of god promise to all those that love his appearance second timothy 4 verses 28 hallelujah the bible says that there are other rewards or crowns set aside for those who dedicate themselves to christ in a number of different theological disciples hallelujah the judgment seat of christ the bema seat is the place where all of the deeds that individual have done after they have become christians are revealed and examined to determine whether they be good works or not hallelujah not being good doesn't refer to sin but the deeds that are worthless according to his purpose whether or not they are sin or irrelevant hallelujah all sin is forgiven at the cross but every deed has consequences glory be to the lamb of god the bema seed evaluate therefore is based upon whether the works that has been done are worthwhile or whether they are worthless the greek word translate that the judgment seat of christ is the greek word for bima hallelujah during the greek olympic of paul apostle they, the judgment would sit on the bema seat situated along to finish line his judgment was to determine who won the gold glory be to the lamb of god who won the silver who won the bronze who come in fourth fifth etc it all goes down hallelujah noted saints that only one judged at the bema seat are those who cross the finish line hallelujah the race is not for the swift but those who endure to the finish the finish line the bema seat is reserved for believers glory be to the lamb of god those who successfully completed the race and specifically the determining their running order and to award their prize hallelujah jesus unbelievers will not be judged at the great white throne scriptures teach that after these works are judged reward will be given for those works that are worthy there will be no reward if the work were unworthy but that is not the same thing as being condemned 
glory be to the Lamb of God. If any man works shall be burned, he shall suffer lost, but he himself shall be saved, yet as so by fire. First Corinthians 3 verse 15 emphasized. The New Testament speak of the five crowns. The first one, the five, the, the crown of righteousness, love for his appearance. Glory be to the Lamb of God. This is the crown of those who love his appearance and will be given in the day, the days of his appearance. Second Timothy 4 verse 8. Those who study prophecy, those who did did hallelujah to the lamb of god those who dedicate themselves as watchmen on the wall ready to give the warning hallelujah of those soon appearing will receive the crown of righteousness for the righteousness judge at the bema seat glory be to the lamb of god literally the crown of righteousness means a crown for doing right apostle paul is saying because i have loved the appearance of the lord i have fought a good fight i have finished the course i have kept my faith glory be to the lamb of god saints noted what apostle paul did not say he did not say if you keep the faith you will receive the crown of righteousness instead he says if you love his appearance that is the lord you will and the second crown is the crown of rejoicing souls winning hallelujah not just to win soul saints hallelujah but to win them and let and, and teach them how to stay in righteousness. Glory be to the Lamb of God. This is the soul winning crown those brought to Jesus by us will be our crown of rejoicing at his coming. 1 Thessalonians 2 19 verse 1 hallelujah and Thessalonians 2 verse 20 and Philippians 4 verse 1 apostle Paul was happiest when he thought of all the people who had come to the Lord through his teaching writing hallelujah and church planting glory be to the Lamb of God and the harvest of his labor has continued unbated hallelujah throughout the entire church age since there is no number state of the qualifiers we don't have to be intimidated by apostle paul and beatable results we just have to make the most of every opportunity the lord bring across our path and remember we're judged here by our effort not our results and saints you cannot be a bishop if you do not plant churches you have to have more than one churches hallelujah to the lamb of god each person bear the responsibility for his or her own choices regarding regarding salvation so we don't have to be argumentative or hallelujah we just have to make a clear and consistent presentation of the gospel and then pray that it's received this is the model apostle paul hallelujah established for us the third crown is the crown of glory pastors hallelujah to the lamb of god this is the elders or pastor crown given by the chief shepherd when he shall appear but it is not for those who serve for filthy lucre or lord it's over god heritage 
1 Peter 5, 2 to 4. Not every pastor or under shepherd will receive this crown. Either there are those who will fail a test of willing service or those who set themselves up as Lord over God's heritage. Instead of being example of their flock or those who fail to feed their charges with God's word, Hallelujah. The requirements are clear and many loyal shepherds of the Lord's flock will finally get to recognition, glory to God, they so richly deserve others who have lorded it over believers entrusted to their care or strapped heavy yokes of legalism to their neck, hallelujah, will be forced to stand to the side and watch as the Lord reward those who have stayed true to his words. You cannot be dictators. Hallelujah, just teach the word and let the word play its role pierce the hearts of man the fourth one is the crown of life mirth this is the mirth crown and is mentioned twice blessed is the man that endure temptation testing for when he is tired at the judgment seat of christ he shall receive the crown of life which the lord has promise to those that love him james 1 verses 12 glory be to the lamb of god fear none of those things which thou shall suffer because it was done to jesus first so who are we glory be to the lamb of god behold the devil shall cut some of you into prisons that he may be tired of testing and he shall have tribulation ten days be thou faithful unto that and i will give thee a crown of life revelation 2 verse 10. the lord himself also speaks of the crown of life reward notice it does not say until death but until death they were not to recant, but to remain faithful unto the merit's debt. To re recant was to lose the crown. Hallelujah. This refers to the merit of the tribulation period. Glory be to the Lamb of God. Also faithful unto death is not a condition of salvation. Salvation comes by grace through faith in the efficiency of Jesus sacrifice for sin at the cross keep in mind saints that the only one that will stand before the bema seats are already saved by grace hallelujah the fifth crown is the incorruptible victory self-control glory be to the lamb of God know he not that they which run in a race run all but one receive the prize so run glory be to the lamb of god that he may obtain and every man that striveth for the mysteries of temperate in all things know that they do it obtain a corruptible crown but we an incorruptible I therefore so run, not as uncertainly, so fight I, not as one that beateth the hair, but I keep under my body, hallelujah, and bring into the subjection less that by any means when I have preached to others, I may myself be a cast away first corinthians 9 24 to 27 
Glory be to the Lamb of God. If we do not want to be ashamed at his coming, first John 2, verse 28, let us see to it that we keep our body under and so live that we shall secure a crown achieving victory means putting the flesh to death getting rid of our se selfish desires or bad habits and attitude glory be to the lamb of god and any behavior that put the lord to shame one of the place where the bible has much to say about what it takes to win this crown is Ephesians 4 verse 6 glory be to the Lamb of God in fact every one of Apostle Paul's letter to the churches exhorted us to compete for this crown out of the gratitude for what we've been given gaining victory over the flesh is the best thing we can do to show the Lord how thankful we are that he saved us all glory be to the Lamb of God as in all competitions our competitive events there is no penalties for losing only a reward for winning hallelujah and failing to win is one event does not mean that we forfeit reward legitimately won in others but we have to win fear and square second timothy 2 verse 5 and more than anything else our attitude has to be right and any thought of recognition or personal gains or even of making points with the Lord will disqualify us glory be to the Lamb of God the only acceptable motive is bringing glory to God and saving the lost first Corinthians 3 12 to 15 and first Corinthians 4 1 to 5 glory be to the lamb of god if we are in christ we are new creation in god's eyes we becomes the apple of his eyes second corinthians 5 verse 17 we were royalties in training our challenge is to live up and what we've already become by acting like who we are in christ those who succeed with will receive the crown of victories we are victor saints glory be to the lamb of god casting our crowns at the feet of jesus of the foot of the cross hallelujah revelation 4 9 to 11 whenever the living creatures give glory and honor and thanks to him who sits at the throne who lives forever and ever hallelujah who is omniscient who is omnipresent who is omnipotent that's God the 24 elders fall down before him who sat on the throne and worship him why can't we worship him as well who lives forever and ever and cast their crowns before the throne saying you are worthy O lord to receive glory and honor and power for you create all things glory be to the lamb of god and by your will they exist and where were created glory be to the lamb of god and saints we're going to pull down the curtain here i trust that you all learned something hallelujah Glory be to the Lamb of God, merciful Father, we thank you for another teaching, another learning. We thank you for always being with us. Your words say you will never leave nor forsake us. You will be with us until your very hand. Merciful Father, I beg you, Lord, but but the forces of darkness in this world. In the mighty name of Jesus, glory be to the Lamb of God. Heal the sick and the broken hearted Lord. Protect your people from knife man, gun man, rapists. In the mighty in the robbers, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Show up, cover us with your shakina glory, Lord. Renew your strength and your covenant with us, Lord. Bless those who bless us and curse those 
who curse us in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, strengthen your people, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Walk through every home, every street, every hospital in the name of Jesus. Protect your people, Lord, from accident in the mighty name of Jesus. From fire, from flooding in the mighty name of Jesus. Cover your people, Lord, under your blood and draw them nigh to you, Lord. Please do not remove your Holy Spirit from us, our Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are nothing without you, Lord. We thank you for all that you are doing, all that you already done, and all that you will continue to do in our lives, Lord. Hallelujah. Teach us your will and your way, Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, remove more of us and give us more of your glory. In the name of Jesus, more of your ways. In the name of Jesus, may the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight for your glory i will do anything just to see you hallelujah i want to be where you are i gotta be where you are wanna be where you are i gotta be where you are for your glory i will do anything just to see you to be you as my king I want to be where you are I gotta be where you are I want to be where you are I gotta be where you are saints hallelujah stay in the presence of the Lord stay under his banner stay under his feathers his wings stay in his bosom saints you will be safe there hallelujah pray that the Holy Spirit do not leave you in this season pray for protection for healing for power in the Lord hallelujah be safe saints walk right and drive safe if you do not have anything good to say, say nothing at all. Let your words be seasoned with grace, with salt. Because it's not what goes in defile you, it's what come out defile you. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Lamb of God. Saints, renew your covenant and your strength with the Lord. Hallelujah. And ask him to renew the right spirit in you, in us. Ask him to remove disobedience and give us obedience. Ask him to remove pride and boast and selfishness. Hallelujah. And give us love over hate and joy and peace hallelujah lord we pray for a sound mind in the mighty name of jesus renew our mind almighty god renew the right spirit in us and give us your joy lord and saints let no one steal your joy because it's only the lord who give us joy and if you can help a brother by rising him up or a sister do so and be careful how you treat people because you might tr treat him an angel unaware hallelujah shalom my people god bless you all i pray that the lord name will be praised in all of the earth hallelujah